In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys seven of the highest paying remote jobs in tech that do not require a degree. Now, although these jobs do not require a degree, in some cases you can get these without experience. In other cases, you're gonna need some basic experience or some sort of training or certification but luckily for you, I got you guys covered. Make sure to check out the link below to my friends at Course Careers, where they provide you with free introductory training as well as more advanced and paid training in all of the positions that we're gonna talk about today. What I love about the guys at Course Careers is not only do they train you, but they help you with your resume. They help you with interview prep. They also help you with job placement. So, all right, first up, technology sales. This is hands down my favorite opportunity out there for somebody who wants to make some really good money but doesn't plan on going to college, doesn't plan on doing the, the traditional career route, if you will. Technology sales is a sales job. What's wonderful about this position is not only do you get paid a salary, but you get paid a commission. Now, as a tech sales rep, you're gonna be identifying new sales opportunities, which means you could be doing cold calling. And in some cases, you're gonna be working with existing clients and acting as more of an account manager where you're helping them with their existing software and technical products. And then in some cases, upselling them to your other products products or your updates. And the typical things you could be doing day to day is discussing the products with your customers and explaining the technical concepts. You could be writing reports and proposals for vendors or for clients related to the technical products that you sell. And above all, you're going to be building relationships. And that's where the money really comes in is after you do this for a little bit of time, you start to build relationships and you have existing accounts, you can really start to make some good money as a technology sales representative. And some of the typical industries you might be working in are manufacturing, computer and software technology, telecommunications, biology, chemistry. So this is a super exciting position. And here's the good part. On average, you can make anywhere from sixty to $80,000 your first year. And in some cases, reps are making as high as $100,000 per year. Now, in order to do this job, it is a sales position. You need to be a strategic thinker. You need to be driven. You need to be persuasive. You need to be a people person. So if that sounds like you, this is a great opportunity. Next up, IT specialist. As an information technology representative, essentially your job is providing various forms of computer related technical assistance. Now, since this is a remote position, you're not going to be in house helping people hook up their computers, you're going to be working with stuff that's actually on the computer. And this could be anything from the security software updates, basic maintenance, maybe it's even helping somebody set up their email. So you need to be a little bit of a techie and a little bit of a people person to be good at this position. And there are currently over 100,000 IT positions available and the pay is anywhere from 40 to $60,000 a year. Plus there's tons of room for advancement after year one. Entry level software developer. Now, if you are a little bit of a geek like me and you like to know how things work, then this is a great opportunity. Now in the beginning as more of an entry level software developer, you're really gonna be working with basic code. You're not gonna be doing anything too detailed or too crazy. Essentially, you'll be working with basic code to help the more senior level developers work with a larger program. But this is how you learn and eventually you can get into a more senior developer position where you're actually helping create and design the software. And this is when you start to get into more things like CSS, HTML, JavaScript. And there's currently over 200,000 jobs available and they pay anywhere from 70 to $90,000, which is insane. Now, typically there's a little bit more competition when it comes to landing these jobs. That's why I 
I recommend you check out my friends at Course Careers where they can provide you with software developer intro training, which is free. And then they also have a more advanced software developer training, which is paid. So check out that link below. Data analyst. Now, as a junior data analyst or an entry-level data analyst, you guessed it, your job is to collect and analyze data. And then from this data, your goal is to produce insights that can help companies make better strategic decisions. So you need to be detail-oriented, a little bit of a numbers geek, clear communicator, and super organized to do this position. But the pay is awesome, anywhere from 50 to $70,000 per year. And there's lots of jobs available per course careers. There's currently over 100,000 jobs available. Entry-level UX or UI designer. Now, first of all, what is UX and what is UI designer? UI refers to user interface and UX refers to user experience. And essentially what you do in these positions is help create products that improve the user experience. Now, as a UI designer, this is gonna refer more to the aesthetics, the look and the feel of the product screen or the web page. While the user experience or the UX covers the user's overall experience with the website or the product. And a good way to look at it is the user interface or the UI refers to the actual screen, the buttons and the toggles and the icons that you see on the screen. Whereas in the UX role, you're dealing with the actual interaction of the product. How does it all work? How does it all feel for the end user? And some of the responsibilities in these roles are researching and testing and then finding different ways to improve the visibility. Of course, you're got, you have to be a good problem solver because you need to be able to identify problems. In some cases, you might be creating an early model of the product that helps to demonstrate its functionality. And overall, it's making sure that everything works properly. And these jobs pay very well, anywhere from 50 to 80K per year. Now, the competition is pretty high for these positions because they are a bit more creative and there's not as many jobs available. If you're a creative, detailed person, you know this is what you want to do, it shouldn't keep you from getting started. Human resources. Now, when it comes to entry-level human resources, you start out as a HR admin or human resources admin. And your role here is to really just maintain the personal records, update the database, maybe create guidelines and FAQ documents, create guidelines and FAQ documents about the company's policies. And in some cases, you might be working with payroll, helping to publish job advertisements, scheduling interviews, basically everything that kind of falls under that human resources umbrella. So if you're a people person and you've dreamed of being in HR, maybe you want to go into recruiting or become an actual HR manager, this is a great opportunity for you. And these positions pay anywhere from 40 to $60,000 per year. Now there's a lot of competition for these jobs, but currently there's over 400,000 jobs available. So don't let that keep you from getting into HR. Now you do need to be a people person above all to be in this role. And you also need to be very organized and detail oriented. Digital advertising. If you've been wanting to get into advertising, digital marketing, this is a great opportunity. Now typically in digital advertising, you start out as what's called a junior media buyer. As a junior media buyer, you're responsible for planning, executing, and optimizing the advertising campaign campaigns for different products or ads. And in some cases, you might even be creating content, gathering images for landing pages and funnels. You might even be doing some basic AB or split testing. This is where you have two websites with say two different images or two different headlines, and then you test to see which site is performing better. You might also be doing some work on the company's social media platforms, helping to boost engagements, working in the Facebook group as an administrator. It's an exciting opportunity if you're somebody who's thinking long term, you want to be in the digital marketing and advertising space. And the pay is great, anywhere from fifty dollars to $70,000 per year. Now, you do need to be a strategic thinker. You need to be creative. And you also need to be an analytical thinker as well. Now, one thing I didn't mention, guys, all of these jobs have great opportunity for career advancement. So you need to be thinking beyond year one and year two. That's why I highly recommend that 
you see where your skill sets fit best, and then take the time to visit the people at Course Careers. And then after going through the free intro course, if you're like, you know what, this is for me, I want to learn more, then you can talk to them about their more advanced training, and then you'll have access to help with your resume, help with interviewing prep, and help with job placement. I'll put the link below, guys, to all that information. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.